Welcome everyone, my name is DailyFix and we continue with Space Engineers and you are witnessing what is going to be the layout, well actually the shape of, um, let's get into first person, of my base um, below and you'll see this ramp over here and that is the same which you will see over here. So it is a massive extension and the reason for it is quite simple that is an atrocity. Go away. The, the reason is quite simple. I want to have a place to put my tiny car and my uh, minor version 3, which I still... I need to name both. I need to name both. So, I know some people are watching. And, and to those who are, name my two ships. Uh, well, name my car and my minor. Now, for my minor, I wanted to be able to go up horizontally. But it will have a bit of a problem, since it requires a connection from the, uh, from the roof. It's somewhat annoying, and I don't want these large thrusters too close to the ground. So, maybe we'll have to think of a way to connect our our miner a new way but still it works quite nicely I've been taking it out for a spin of course to get some more iron because we were running very very low so I've never used this uh, this 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 means of um, of shaping I've seen Splitsy use it and uh, I think you need to make like a blueprint and I've tried this one before and of course that doesn't work. Where is the delete? But this is the grid. This is going to be... Um, let's see how we do this. Um, edit. Can we edit the name? Rename. So... Um, lower extension. base so that's now going to be the name uh, what I think I need to do is it should work like this and we should definitely get rid of uh, the static grid because that was a, a thing so this is my blueprint now let's test this out shall we we need to make sure that we get enough materials for a projector uh, people that were looking at the last um, episode uh, did see this in my building planner. Didn't do anything with it, of course, because I'm, I'm amazing. I'm amazing, of course. So, let's get all of this out. I don't want to press that right away. We're going to be taking everything that we, are, we can and just do that. Let's see how fast this goes. It's relatively fast if I had everything in order so let's take that out all components were transferred successfully let's place it somewhere where it does have power so let's see projector turn on the lights uh, I'll place it down right there and we're going to see how this thing actually works. I've never used it, so I'm quite, quite, um... Seriously, uh, is there a way where I can... Oh, don't tell me it's at the bottom. It's at the bottom, isn't it? Okay, before I grind this down, let's uh, flip it. Okay, there is no connection, I guess. Uh, let's see, maybe we'll uh, just be able to interact with it. I thought it would have had a... A, um, a connection spot. Can I... Can, can I kill myself with these things? No. <laughs> that would be something. Uh, okay, now the positioning of this thing is just horrible. Because I cannot um, get towards it. Uh, let's go over here. Let's press... I control panel uh, projector 
Can I add blueprint, lower base extension? So let's go back, projector. It has a blueprint. Keep projecting, please. And here we can get horizontal, vertical, forward offset. Um, let's take a look. Oh, damn. <laughs> now, uh, this hole in here, which you see, is due to the ground being a bit of a ass, so to say. Uh, so I think it's time to bring this thing down and we're going to be playing with it. Uh, this is going to be my drill guide. So quite looking forward to it. I could actually do it like this. Oh, playing like a pro now, are we? Yes. So let's get rid of it. And we're going to be putting it down again. Oh man, tearing that down is going to be annoying. <laughs> there's, so, but there's so much steel in it. Oh boy. Um... Okay, it doesn't really matter where I place it, I believe, uh, because we can actually upset it. Where is it? Okay, I, I do need this. I'm not that. <laughs> I'm waving already. Uh, let's place it down here, and let's put off our jetpack. Wow, that took me a lot longer than I was hoping for. Um, okay, so since I am unable to interact it, with it like this, which is quite a bit of a shame. I was hoping I could have done that. Um, I do need a way to look at the projector while placing that thing down. So like this, control panel, projector, and blueprint, lower base, and once again, projector. Publish, and I think we need to take a look before doing anything. So it is now in what position? Let's see. What does it do? What is it doing? It isn't really showing now, that is it? This is going to be a lot harder than I thought it would have been where is because this does appear to be okay i left a hole in here so this needs to go there which is going to be annoying and i'm thinking about just cutting back to you when i figure this out because this is probably going to be well destroying my uh, mental capabilities and um especially that thing that's in top of the head my brain so let's uh, meet back when I got this one figured out. Okay, so after about, I think it's been 15 minutes or so, I was able to get it right. So you can see there's going to be a rather large outside area, which I wasn't actually going for, but now it's there. It is fine, because we can actually use that for wind turbines and solar power, because we do need it. That Also, it will offset the, the brick-like structure of the base a tiny bit. And we could add support going over it in between solar panels. So, there is uh, definitely some ideas that I would like to work on but now it's just going to be a matter of digging this entire hole out uh, which is a massive massive undertaking however we do have some guidelines now so if I just go in here and just dig downwards we could just in theory just follow the lines I did set up for our construction making it a lot easier to um, get in with our mining ship later and digging out the inner uh, inner area of all of these uh, blocks now i won't be using half blocks where we can actually see the outside because uh, you'll have this um, the grass sticking through but also it's just it do i don't feel right it don't feel right having the, a slope 
inside of my base terrain. So, um, yeah, I think we're going to have our work cut out for ourselves. So let's just make sure that we get started on this. And I won't be saying I'll see you when it's done because, my God, I think this is going to be just at least an hour of work and I don't have that time. So what I'm hoping for is that um, I do have enough footage now for uh, a episode and it will give me some time to um, dig this thing out in my spare time and I will then see you most likely next time and perhaps I will add at the uh, the thumbnail picture of this thing completely dig, uh, dug out so if you see that you know that I was busy during <laughs> during my free time which uh, is uh, it's still wow what am I starting to do damn man it is so much work ah uh, well anyways I used a projector block and I'm happy about it and it's Something I wanted to do for a long time because I know once I'm getting into larger ships a projector block will make it so much easier to correct damage done by me being a horrible pilot for one and two is I've been told there are pirates in space, space pirates uh, which is very cool, I really like that I like the idea of it um, but I am worried about damage so if you have some uh, some knowledge on how to deal with uh, space pirates and don't say weapons I don't say weapons I know I need weapons and we will definitely get started on weapons eventually don't need it for this base just yet because well it would make sense uh, well we're already uh, almost done doing the layout huh can't wait to get my miner in here there you go so let's get up here Oh boy. <laughs> Damn, that's massive. That well guys, after a long and gruesome time, I managed to uh, <laughs> get rid of that structure. And I was able to do the layout of our future base. And my god, it's ex it is so, so much. Uh, luckily, luckily, we have a thing called a... Minor. Now you haven't seen me flying this on camera with the armor, so we might as well just go in here and let's get my keys visible. Also, I in between episodes, actually not in between episodes, um, in between the recording, I um, I switched a few settings to my noise suppression. Seeing that I live on a very busy road and you could hear that gate pop every time. Hopefully it's now a lot less. Let me know in the comment section what you think. Well, that said, let's put you on auto, let's put you on lock. And first things I'm going to be doing is going down a bit because I don't want to uh, destroy anything. So let's see if I put everything up. Yes, that works. I have lights now, you can see spotlights and we have regular lights that are way, 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 uh oh, I'm a bloody dumbass, I'm, I'm an odd. Did I destroy anything? Yes, I did. <sighs> okay, okay, okay. How bad is it? It's not too bad, but damn, I'm an idiot. Oh well, uh, mistakes were made. Let's let's say it, let, at least let's pretend that didn't happen. Okay, let's pretend. So hopefully we cannot redraw some of the components. Let's put it like this. Let's see how fast this thing actually goes. And wow, <laughs> well, I like it. It is definitely a lot faster than last time. So yeah, that, those are things that I um, do tend to do quite a bit, bumping everywhere, and yeah, that is definitely not what I should be doing. Um, let's just wait until these are done. Actually, well, we don't need to wait. We uh, will let that thing just go like that, and let's make sure that we start going on the very first one, because that one is very much cleared. Ah, oh, such a smart ass I am. So smart. I could also take the other one. 
So I really was tinkering quite a bit with the projector. I was looking at my uh, recording of it and oh boy. <laughs> Took me a long ass time, I can tell you that. Um, it, it, it feels 10 minutes, but looking back, it was a lot longer. Uh, because I recorded about... 45 minutes and it appeared that I only had a footage amount of 10 minutes with me with my mouth open which is definitely a problem if you want to make at least 20 minutes no I do it again no yes I am that bloody dense I am that dense I was trying to press on the eye did it not break anything which would be very surprising with my luck wow everything is still intact <laughs> i'm such an idiot uh control panel let's take a quick look yeah, everything is intact so my interior lights go all the way here so let's call this minor small lights and I'm going to be putting the radius, or actually the intensity down to about 3. That should be more than enough. So, let's get, well, not inside of my cockpit, because I have the nasty, nasty habit of, well, making a bloody mess of things, which you just noticed. That will happen with all of my ships, but usually it happens when, you know, I am not recording. So I don't feel... That dumb. <laughs> let's light everything. Let's hold right mouse button. Uh, let's hopefully not get too much out of it. And uh, make sure we keep going forward. Uh, I don't want to go too much down. Because it's only a few blocks. And I kind of want to do... Well, actually it doesn't matter as much. Because there is definitely... We need to do conveyors. Of course we need to do conveyors. The only thing I need to be careful about is destroying the land that is just outside of, um, of the borders of my projector. I could turn the projector off and actually would have saved me a lot of power. I'm not sure how much a projector uses in terms of power. But I'm so happy that I got this ship. So happy. Because it, uh, I could do a go. A, I could go a lot faster. I've done so. I, I know I can. Uh, but what I worry about the most is me damaging the base. And yeah, I don't want that. So let's make sure that this all happens. Oh man, if oh yeah, there is a block sticking out. Yes. <sighs> Such a smart ass. Such a smart ass I am. So, let's get rid of this, um, this area over here. Ooh, that's dangerous. Let's get rid of it right away. Oh, I'm so happy I don't have to do this by hand anymore. Oh, that would have taken forever. Well, actually, yeah, it would have taken forever. Um, definitely would have taken forever. This is a hundred times faster. If I am taking my time, that is. And that is my biggest issue. Time. Time! I don't have. At least I have it, but I don't feel I have it. If you understand what I'm trying to say, is uh, I have absolutely zero patience. Absolutely. Don't have it. Don't even know how to spell it. Patience. I know people in the chat will probably do, in the comment section, at least I hope. Ah, oh, man, come on, we're almost there. And not all of the floors have been dug out. You can actually see the structure below there. So I'll try to keep the, it, the ship somewhat leveled. So we can get rid of most of it without uh, removing more than we actually want. All the way into our base. And uh, luckily for me, the drills can actually do... Well, they, they can actually have a bit of a, um, of a punch. Um, more so than other ships. Get rid of you. 
And you can see it has a quite a long range. Can we go inside now? Yeah, I think we can. Here we go. It looks so nice. It goes so fast. Oh, so much better this. You imagine doing this by hand, you would not be happy. Uh, also, while in the cockpit, we have a better understanding of the uh, of the size of this. It feels large. It truly does. Probably isn't as much as I hope. Let's get try to get that dirt out without destroying anything. Because I have to do this by drill. I have noticed that it is rather difficult. So that one was filling up. Let's see. There is a tiny bit of going on around here. That we need to get rid of. There you go. Actually there's a bit over there. Let's take a quick look. I think we are almost done. Wow. Oh look at all of these particles. Do you see them? You see that there's one over there. And maybe if I turn off my lights. Which are on six. There's so one over there. And there is a chunk flying in that direction. We don't like that. Uh, we want to make sure that that is gone. Let's put on the lights again. See if it's, uh, if it's disappeared. Yes it did. And the last few bits are over here. Man, this is awesome. I'm loving it. Let's take a quick look. I think we're there. Ooh, there's just, just, just a bit here. Like I said, it doesn't matter for the flooring. Ooh, I'm hitting something. Uh, mainly because uh, you can see that my blueprint is a bit messed up. Because I didn't build it off uh, enough from the ground. Something that uh, I will do next time. When I'm doing this again. Building uh, a layout like that. But I think we're ready. I think we are. So let's head out. And park this contraption. And we have a lot. A lot of steel plates to go. Um, we'll figure out the roof later. Because the, I'm lacking a, a very critical component. And for that component... I will need to make a thing called a door, which I don't have in my base. Am I? You didn't see that. That neither. Go up. There we go. And I didn't have any issues at all. If I remember to cut it out, and <laughs> I won't. I won't, I won't cut it out. I, um, if, if things happen like that, we all know that. How badly is anything damaged? Nothing is damaged. Let's take a quick look about here. Because we have a very good understanding at, at the sides of this. Do you see this? It's massive. It is massive. It's about 15 blocks long. And about 15 white at the last bit. And yeah, looking for... We could add another entrance to the garage. But hey, that would serve. They lose the purpose of that garage. So we won't do that. Let's get our thing going. Let's take a quick look here. Yeah, we definitely harmed the base a bit. Which is okay. So yeah, this is uh, what I was uh, trying to do. Could I have gone one down? Well, maybe yes. I don't think I'll need these anymore. So, while that is my understanding, let's get rid of them. I kind of feel that we do want to keep this going. Like this, this short drop downwards. And we'll, uh, we'll make it up here again just to have it have a shape. I like it so far. So guys, uh, this is going to be the genuine end of... Uh... What the hell is this? Holy crap. That was dangerous. I would have 
definitely flown into that high speed. Is there more of that? God, I hope not. Also, I'm being sidetracked again. Sorry for that. Uh, anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Hope to see you next time. Keep on watching. Keep on liking. Definitely give me some comments about my mic, about the bass, how I can fix the brick-like structure. And we'll definitely have to build something over here as a great entrance point with our hangers to the left and something else to the right. We'll see about that. Thank you all for watching, my friends. See you next time. Goodbye.